time at my parents' house and I wasn't expecting this lockdown to go on for this long so I didn't bring much of my makeup Her November 5th Thanksgiving get ready with me because it is the only one I could do with the makeup I have here at home So, instead of complaining once again about all the makeup that I didn't bring It's here Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, hello, my name is Lupe or the highlight meme, whatever you want to call me, that's fine. And since my makeup is finally here, I just couldn't wait to play with it. So I decided to jump in the butterfly liner makeup trend. So if you want to see how to recreate this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So the first step is to draw the wings of the butterfly. And by the way, I'm sorry if you can hear back background noise. I'm just with the AC on because it is hot girl summer here. Well, not technically summer, but you know what I mean. So I'm using the Maybelline Curvitude Eyeliner. That's cute. To clean off the excess, I'm going to use a cloth wipe a cloth makeup remover it's a substitute for cotton it's more ecological and so practical so easy to use and you can remove whatever you want just with water that's how magical it is now the hard part is to replicate and do the other side that was so hard. We'll do the best we can and just move on because if I continue, I will end up skinless because of removing and doing it again and removing it and you know the drill. Let's move on. I'm going to apply some concealer inside the wings just so the eyeshadows look better. Should have done this first. If you're watching this at home, prime your eyes first. Now for eyeshadow, I'm using the one and only James Charles and Morphe palette. And since I missed it so much, I just couldn't wait to dive in. And I couldn't choose just one range of colors. So I'm going to do one wing in reds and pinks and the other one blues and greens. So first, for the right eye, I'm grabbing the red eyeshadow with a liner brush to outline the wings. Now I'm going to diffuse a little bit that edge with this orangey color. And finally, I'm going to apply this bright pink on the blank space. Next up, I'm just applying the white shade very close to the lash line to create some dimension. Now to finish off this side, I'm going to touch up the eyeliner. Once again, I'm going to grab the darkest color to outline the wings and that is going to be this blue. Next up, I'm applying this light blue to diffuse the edges a little bit. Next up is this green color right here that is going to be in the place where the pink was on the other side. And once again, applying the white color very close to the lash line to add some dimension. Now let's touch up the liner. Next up, I'm going to line my lash line so that the false lashes blend in better with my normal lashes. My eyes are watering for mascara. I'm going to use the Lash Sensational by Maybelline, but first I'm going to curl them. Now I'm going to apply some false lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Finally, we are moving on to the face and to prime, I'm going to use the Professional. I'm going to use the Professional by Benefit. These lashes are so big and my eyes are watering, it is not comfortable. So 
I'm applying the primer on my nose, down my eyes, and on my forehead, pretty much everywhere I have big pores. Next up is foundation and I'm going to use the Lancome Tint Miracle in the shade 03. 03. For concealer, I'm going to use the NYX Duty Photogenic in the shade CW05. My, my skin is actually burning here for rubbing it so much. It's the golden hour. I should brush so I don't miss it. Now I'm baking with this powder from the Highlight and Contour palette from The Balm. I think my skin is red here. I'm not going to apply any more makeup there. Now, while my skin is in the oven, I'm going to contour the rest of my face. For blush, I'm going to use a Revlon blush in the shade Tico Pink. It is... It is a dream. This blush is an actual dream because it is pink, but it has some light golden reflex and it makes your cheeks bright as well, as if you had a little bit of highlighter. I don't know if you can see the reflex, the highlight. This was one of the makeup items that I didn't have and I'm so glad we are reunited. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use, of course, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. Well, that was easy. We're almost done. The second to last step missing is highlighter. And I'm going to use this shade from the James Charles palette. A kind of champagne-y color. Finally, for lipstick, I'm going to use a MAC lipstick in the shade Mocha. That is it! So that is it for today's makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and recreate the look. And if you do, then please tag me on Instagram at Lupe with double E Z G. I would love to see your makeup looks. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell that is next to the subscribe button so that you know every time I upload a video, which is Yes, you know it, you know it. Every Friday, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.